welcome to Off the Ranch. I have an excavator, a little mini excavator. This is actually a Bobcat E35 mini excavator, and it's mine. I found it, stole it, excellent. No, not really, I of course did not steal it. This is from Willie and Steven Holden, from Holden Bros. They were like, hey, I heard you need a mini excavator, and you are gonna like pay someone to come use it, or you were gonna rent one, why don't you just use ours? And I was like, I'm in, and so they let me just borrow it. So I have their mini excavator for the day, and I'm gonna come try to tear up all this stuff. But first, let's look at this thing. E35 Bobcat, it's 25 horse. It's got the little blade up front. It's got a nice bucket with a claw. This thing is sweet, really good condition, and they just let me borrow it. Hold the bros, thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. I really like machinery, if y'all can't tell. I like trucks and cars, and I like bobcats and skids and everything. And now I got a little mini excavator to play with for the day. The plan is to pluck up all this stuff because I couldn't get any closer with my skid steer for fear of falling in. So I'm just gonna pull that down, claw it out, ideally, and clean it all up. And then I can come back and bring a skid and dump lots of rocks in here. All right, we're gonna see how this works. I think I can get close enough, safe enough, to get all this mess out. Because right now it's just like a big mess. You can't even get in there because the sticks are all pokey and everything. Not a problem though, I think. And I gotta figure out all these controls. Bucket up, down, sideways. We got our, whoa. Gotta figure out this uh, angle on this hill too. I don't wanna knock her over. I think I will, I think we're good. Pull that up. My center of gravity up and foot pedals. She's our foot pedals. Walk this thing down. We'll try to clean over on the left side first. Man, that angle is scary. I'm always very scared of rolling things on bobcats and excavators like this. Blade down to level out. Oh, yeah, that feels better. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Open up our claw. Go all the way open. I'm just going to try to pluck it. Now we... That didn't work at all. Cut out all the boring stuff that hurt. I think I need a scoop more. are strong. <laughs> That big clump of roots, it was right there. We plucked it out and set it all right there. This thing that is so cool. That thing works really good. Um, and some people worried that we were going to take out too many roots and kill cypress trees. I've done some research online and I think we should be good. I didn't take out any roots within like 15 feet of that tree. Um, and so we didn't disrupt anything except the thin stuff that was further away. And that tree is freaking in the water. It goes all the way over there. Has a ton of roots. So I took out like just the superficial stuff. I probably took out 2% of its superficial roots. So we're good. This will make it much easier. So now, actually I'm gonna get a chainsaw because these roots over here, every time I pull them more, they would just, they just kept going. So I'm gonna just chainsaw these because I don't need to get down any deeper here in this dirt. I just need those to be out of the way so I can get a bobcat and just push tons and tons of rocks. I'm just gonna dump, there's a bunch of river rocks over there. I'm just gonna get them all and dump, 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 dump and bring up the level of the ground right here and going into the water and just make us a nice beach because right here it drops off like three feet. Um, which is just hard for little kids. You can actually see the ground right there and then it just disappears right there. So I wanna make this thing easy, well, two reasons, for kids and for adults, because I wanna make it easy for little kids to just run down in the water or if they jump in the water to run back out. Because this ladder is just tricky for like, we had a two-year-old and a four-year-old here. It was just hard for them. I want it to be to where they can just jump in the water or run in the water and then run back out. It'd be super easy. But I also want to make it nice for adults like me to just sit in a lawn chair where you're half in the water and just hang out. Because this is either like land or water. We want something in between as well. I'm just stalling before I get the chainsaw. Let's go get the chainsaw. <laughs>
plan for today on what I had to get done with that mini excavator. So we got all the stuff moved out of the way. So now I'm just gonna come start pushing rocks. Bunch of river rocks. There's just tons of river rocks out here. Just gonna start pushing river rocks in here and ideally not getting too close and dumping my bobcat in. But I'm just gonna do it a little by little and it should, I think, make a nice, I mean, it's gonna take a day or two of shoving river rocks in to make a nice little beach area here, but that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna load this thing up, head home. Thank you Holden Bros for letting me borrow it. It was invaluable today. Okay, we are home now. And now I need to put this thing on the trailer. I'm trying to make a video, just do that quietly. Because tomorrow, I'm gonna take this thing out and hopefully finish, ideally. I'll bring you guys along with that too, but first we gotta get this thing on there. chain down good to go super easy not sweaty at all texas is just beautiful nice cool weather even in the evenings like this I'm gonna go ahead and hook her up to the truck here take her for a spin and then we oh mm. um get back engine Engine, don't be silly. Okay, that was a bad idea. Good to go. I want to show you guys our long range. Really getting cleaned up, coming along nicely. I don't know why all my stuff breaks. All these targets down here are rifle rated targets. Uh, some of them are big ones for 50 BMG even. And then we have a huge berm back here. I own all the property back there and it goes up a big hill back there. Like bullets aren't leaving, but I was always worried we were shooting just kind of into trees. And I was like, man, what if one of my kids is just walking around and like, they, I've told them to not go back there. And like, it's really way out of their way. Like they'd have to be lost to get back there. But like, there was still that little piece in my mind that was like, what if they just wandered back there one day and we're sitting here shooting and we miss a target and it goes into the woods where They've been going and it's totally safe because I have a 50 foot tall backstop, but it's way back there. It's a hill and it's way back there. We were like, man, let's just go ahead and build a big backstop so nothing ever comes past our long range range. So we got a bunch of these railroad ties. We piled up a huge mound of dirt behind it. Having a bobcat is key. It's like the best thing I ever did. Like we use that thing. I don't know, every tool I ever get, I use it way more than I think. Like everybody's probably been there. Like whether you have a tiny little tool set or a huge tool shop, you started with getting a set of screwdrivers or a set of wrenches. And you were like, I just need it for this one thing. I might not use it that much. And then you use it a ton. You get a hammer, you use it a ton. It's the same thing with every single tool I get. Like when I get the Bobcat, I use it so much. When I got a diesel truck to start towing stuff, I used it way more than I thought. When I got a dually so I could tow bigger stuff, I used it way more than I thought. So anyway, uh, moral of the story, buy lots of tools. One tool that I have not been using enough is my fire truck. Ugh. So, as you guys know, America's birthday was a couple days ago, and we did not have any fireworks. They were actually illegal where I am um, because it was very dry. But America's gonna America. And so, of course, all the rednecks are still shooting fireworks. And it got me thinking, I was like, man, I really should have this fire truck more ready in case of fire. It did not have a full tank of water on the 4th of July. Bad job, man. But I am a man who will admit when I am wrong and will correct my flaws, so I'm gonna go fill it up right now. Uh, this is, for those who haven't seen it in a while, a Stuart Stevenson. Uh, I think it's an M1078. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's a single rear axle version. So it's classified as a two and a half ton truck. And we have a big old water tank and a pump back there on the bed. Just because my property is so heavily wooded. But I was always worried if I ever did start a fire, which there's a decent chance I could. It'd be really nice to have a way to put it out instead of waiting for 20 minutes for the fire department to get here to put it out. So we got our own little personal fire truck. I'm gonna head up, fill this thing up, and then tomorrow we're gonna go finish the river and try to make us a nice beach. I'd love to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. 
this episode of Buffer Ranch. I love you, and I will see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.